Welcome to King's Cross. King's Cross is one of the largest regenerative projects in Europe. We're at the heart of 27 hectares of development space, of which 10 hectares is public space. There are 50 buildings, 20 streets, 10 new squares and parks. And this has all happened over the last 20 years. We're standing in the space between the two great stations, St Pancras and King's Cross, but of course there is a third, which is the granary building at the heart of the scheme. And that was the building that corn and grain was delivered to London and then distributed in what was probably the world's first intermodal link. King's Cross was effectively the Heathrow Airport of the Victorian era. It was the delivery point, it was the umbilical, the connection to London, and is littered with industrial archaeology the history of the site is not a problem, it became the opportunity, it became a guide to how we should develop the thinking about the way the plan should emerge. We, what we avoided was the imposition of an arbitrary geometry that, that would be imposed on the site rather than letting the intrinsic values and spaces emerge to become themselves. Though the buildings are important, the spaces between them are just as important because it's the spaces that make you feel comfortable make you understand the city, make it legible and make you want to be there. There are 50 buildings designed by over 30 architects and each building contributes to the space it finds itself in rather than presenting itself as an individual standing on its own. The making of a master plan is not just about the design, it's also about how it develops over time, how it's used and how it's implemented. Uh, the process that Argent have led. So there's an enormous amount of diverse uses contained in King's Cross, from supermarkets to schools, to art galleries and cinemas and theatres, to universities, all underpinned by residential and commercial development. It takes almost 15 minutes to walk from one end to the other, and about eight minutes to walk from side to side. It's, it's such a big place, the connections are really important, both inside and how it connects to the city beyond. The major connections are, are, are obvious and one needs to deal with that in a master plan, but it's these capillaries that are the, are the lifeblood of a place, that these tiny little connections where we are now, that, that connect King's Cross to the outside world and make it the, the place that is seamless that we always intended it would be. Returning here 20 years after the initial sketch, it's wonderful to see how well it's used, but not, not just because it's become a thriving place, but because it's really affected the area surrounding the site. It's remarkable that a master plan should almost be finished in one's lifetime. The finishing line is probably about five years from here.